Some 30 students signed up to learn how to process and market all types of meat taken to them by the public. Right now we have uh, 185 kids enrolled in ag. We have about 30 who are coming through and working on their certification in meats processing. After being certified, many in the class may decide on careers in the meat industry. Certification to them, uh, if they want to pursue it as a career, um, it gives them a step up whenever they go in. A lot of grocery stores and retailers said that they were losing the feel of having a hometown butcher or any kind of custom creations. It may seem unusual for a high school, unless you grow up in a rural area, where families, especially large ones, are accustomed to raising their own meat, which then has to be processed before it can be used. And the meat will also include wild game, something that's been done in this community for generations. Most of our meat comes from individuals raising off the farm. Uh, hogs, beef, sheep. We do get a lot of deer. That's our biggest fluctuation is uh, hunters go and kill the deer and they bring it here and force the process for them. These students learn that processing meat for human consumption is a lot more than what you see in the supermarket. It has to start with a full-scale meat processing center like this state-of-the-art facility at this school. I love it. It's really fun. It's a great environment to be in. Coach Parker does a really good job. Mr. Brew teaches us a lot about uh, all the agricultural stuff and how to chop meat, and it's just really fun. The most out of this class is uh, a very safe way to be processing and cutting and everything, and also we learn different recipes, and we also make our own and test them out and all that kind of stuff. This is everybody's favorite place. I mean, thing is, they they develop recipes, they process stuff, and the only way to test their recipe is to actually eat it. Yeah. So that's kind of why they want to be down here, I yeah, think. They know cheap bacon coming out of here. Bob Madison, ABC 31 News, Buckeye High School.